Every year, millions of people travel by air. High safety standards ensure that accidents rarely happen. Rolls-Royce makes aircraft engines. They rigorously test every component. Different materials are used in different parts of the jet engine. It's important to understand the mechanical properties of these materials. I've got two examples of material here. This block of material will be cut up into samples, for example this, and we'll uh, take into account different orientations of the sample. And this sample has been machined out of the holes in this block. These two specimens will then be tested in the test area. Here at Rolls-Royce, we use a standard test piece. Each test piece is uniquely identified. It also comes in a protective covering so as not to scratch any of the surface. After first taking the test piece out of its protective cover, I can then insert into the tensile testing machine. The four extensometer legs are then applied. They can measure the extension throughout the test. After zeroing the transducers, we can then start the test. After the test is finished, the results are displayed on a graph. We have stress down the left-hand side on the y-axis and strain across the bottom on the x-axis. The first part of the test is when the test piece is still in the elastic state, which means if we take off the load, it will return to its original size. This part of the graph shows where the material is going into the plastic state. This means if we take off the load, it will not return to its original size. As the test carries on, the test piece stretches and stretches until it reaches its maximum load. It carries on stretching until finally it breaks. After completion of the test, the test piece needs to be measured. We use a small vise just to hold the test piece back together while we take the measurements. We take the diameter. And we take the length. This machine is set up for the bend testing of metals, either four point bend, one, two, three, four, or in this case I have to do a three point bend test, one, two, three. This test piece has been machined to size for bend testing and sealed into a plastic bag to protect it. Now, position the 
test piece onto the number two and three rollers. Once I've got it positioned, I have to bring down the number one roller until it's in contact with the test piece. Once it's in contact, I can start the test. Once we've completed the test, we view the captured data. This plot shows bending against applied load. This portion of the trace shows that the test piece behaved elastically until here, where plastic deformation occurred. When we get to here, the test piece is starting to fail. On any given material, another test we carry out is a fatigue test. In a fatigue test, you apply and remove a constant load over a period of time. And this is a fatigue failure. 